Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shala Malawson. On today's bulletin, women speak out about the new draft constitution. A blind prosecutor fights for the rights of the disabled. The wife of a dead music star keeps his vision alive. And motoring fans are thrilled in Bulawayo. With the constitution-making process nearing completion, Zimbabwean women are not satisfied. Their demands have been expressed clearly in the draft constitution. Jeffrey Moyo reports. As Zimbabwe moves towards finalizing the draft constitution, women are speaking about their hopes and expectations. At a media briefing in the capital, ATV caught up with some women activists who demanded clarity on the controversial issue of commercial sex work in the constitution. Right now we need society to be honest. Society not to be, what is the word, not to pretend things. To pretend that commercial sex workers are working just as women. Yet we know that for you to be a commercial sex worker, there has to be the other part and that part is not being addressed. The head of a local humanitarian organization said it was unfair for women to be the only ones implicated in sex work. It does not really apply to women. Women are not murderers in most cases. This is what the cases are telling us. So why are you putting there? So, and it, it, it is very divisive in the sense that people then start talking about that as, as, as a, in terms of even um, shooting down the constitution to say in one breath you are talking about equality, the next you are saying these ones can kill but should not be murdered. Although they complained that the constitution-making process was politically driven, the women agreed that progress has been made to address their concerns. According to our gender analysis, or what we are seeing as women's rights issues that have found their way into the COPAC draft, is that it's progressive and it is actually going to be a way of moving women's status forward. So this is the message that we are carrying to the women of Zimbabwe, that regardless of the other issues, the 75% issues around women's interests or women's rights are actually a progressive step towards you know, enjoying women's rights. There's a provision that talks about family care to enable women to enjoy real opportunities to work. So you see that even in terms of labor, women have been recognized. However, some men said the new constitution distorted women's freedoms. <laughs> Some women welcomed the new changes in the constitution while others were against it. In what they send out our cards, they may have both sides. Because I'm cut poor, simple, sir, I can't go on a man. Just you know, so neither do I need to touch it. Set it to stop with. Eh, never mind. Zero foot here. But I'm fine. Uto akadi ne arume shiyenda ne. Uda kuti ya. Shino tinete kuruwa ne upesa na shino nyanyi samba. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo in Harare, Zimbabwe. For many people with special needs, the road to securing a meaningful job is long and full of obstacles. But a blind public prosecutor from Bulawayo is determined to change this. Crispin Tavura reports. Bulawayo-based visually impaired law officer Mefluling Lovu has scored one of his biggest personal victories by scaling over the wall of stigma and discrimination to become the city's first blind public prosecutor. Mefluling Lovu, who graduated with a Bachelor of Laws degree in 2004, narrates his story. When cut short, I just did primary, have said, Benaz, up to 1993. Then my O levels at John Tallack, which was from 1 to 4 between 1994 and 1997. Then A levels at Manama, 98 and 1999. Then I enrolled at the University of Zimbabwe's law school between 2000 to 2004. Mefluli is a fighter for disability rights and said society must respect the rights of the disabled. All the responsible authorities, be it community leaders and so on, should also consider persons with disabilities in their plans, be it for national development, health, education, national empowerment, so that at least all these the, all of us can be empowered and we can build a better country for all of us. Mifluli also spoke about his experiences 
in private practice. With the private uh, legal practitioners, Dube Banda Zagabenga and also SKM Sibanda and partners, then I joined the Justice Ministry towards the end of 2006. Besides practicing as a law officer, Mithluli is also involved in social activities. I also do some advocacy work for people with disabilities. Because I'm currently the chairman of the Zimbabwe Association of the Visually Handicapped, whereby we are trying to also empower our fellow persons with disabilities to enjoy a better living standard. His workmate spoke glowingly about him and his talents. Uh, he's a fast thinker, and well, we have a good working relationship. Uh, he has a sense of humor. Indlovu is a role model. He's somebody who Zimbabweans can be very proud of. Mr. Love, we've got many attributes and we've learned a lot from him. Besides being a professional person, he's someone who is patient and he adapts to other people's needs such that we find it quite easy to work with him. Just like the professional achievements of the late blind lawyer, advocate Pearson Merera, the sky is the limit for Mefluli, who is now an inspiration not only to the disabled, but to the society as a whole. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. The wife of the late Sungura music star, Sefas Mashagada, is determined to keep the legacy of her husband alive. Robert Tafumane met with her and gives us the following report. Vana vivashaka vanta zimi manzi varu kwa mnyika muno vachitunga mirashu kwa tazunenge za siwa na nababa vavo wakawanda Asimu zimayo mshakabu sifas mashakada ati iye aanga sarire shurem Agabula nambare furakere kutangari nonzi shungu zangu Apo aliku pezi sako bika zimi nziyo zaka siwa ne mshakabu One day chakarara ndakarara ini mumba Neka mzukuru kangu kadiki Aka uya babaka ndi moza kati ngati imbi Timbe, Nandri Mope, Dova Tatanga Wimba. Takatanga Wimba, first song in the Shungu Zang, Daka Imba, Dika Imba, Shikir and Dachema, Pilo Gatota, Dova and a Pepuk, Nicatipato, Pilo and Dukuchemi, Nicati Asinta and the Jimba, Song and Anjimba, the Shiru Yok, Dova and a Tepam phone. Unison in the Rambirachi, Rior Nunzi, Shungu Zangu, Kupet Zajido, Shakabu, Uyo, Agasia, Madame Barifo, Gumi, Nemashanum. In the Gaitora, Kuti, Iro Reva Kuti, Shungu Zangu, Zuti, Ishungu Zasifas, Zaita, Kutin, this weekend, Nukus or Yimba. Eh, it wasn't my intention, but young Iri, a Yamuriz, Ida Kusia recorded in Bozaki. Ano tuzakare kumbiri za kwa kata chikwara chesi sound of the mad face. Kule wa kutumutu mjinji wakangu watangwa na sifas wale kuyende lamberimu. Inini ndukuto wana tukuyende lamberi. Ndukuto wana e, e, e good light. Ndukuto wana tichibudirira kumbiri. Because ndi zina mwarimu kati. Yuni Sakaro wana sifas machakada mugura 1980. Vaka garavese kumakure makuma tatu nerima chete vaka rora na sifas machakada kashaya mswa 22 August kurela pera. Mushida mekungia rawara kwengu wa refu nichirwere cheshuga. Robert of Money ATV Arare Zimbabwe. <tipos> Motoring enthusiasts were treated to some breathtaking moves as local and South African drivers showcased their car spinning tricks at Borodale race cars. Robert Tafumane reports. <laughs> Scores of people thronged Borodeo race course at the weekend to watch Spin City, the biggest off-road motoring event ever held in the country. Local drivers competed against spin drivers from South Africa in this show that is fast becoming more popular among Zimbabweans. The crowd favorite Sleeky from Porokwane in South Africa told ATV about his driving skills. I'm spinning from 1999 and I paid my school fees. It took me very years to be where I am today, and I hope today you'll see a great performance of me. Local top spin driver Koffer said the game is just about passion and is happy that the game is being run professionally in the country. 
We're just guys with a passion for spinning and uh, we've been spinning for a long time but now we're taking it to a professional level and we're really glad that uh, Zimbabwe is getting exposure. That it is, uh, the sport is still growing and uh, eventually we'll get more guys coming in and uh, it should be fun. Yes. Spin City organizer Parson Timboza said spin drivers were using the BMW 325 to perform their driving tricks, revving engine and turning in circles at high speeds. Targets are mainly BMWs and we're actually trying to cater for the different crowds in Zimbabwe rather than our normal musical clientele. The spin drivers also screeched tires jumping in and out of the spinning car while some even stood on the bonnet while their vehicles were in motion. The biggest car spinning show was dubbed a Heroes Weekend Showdown and had spinners such as Hamo, Leon Schuster, Sleeky and Rajo all from South Africa. The car spinning antiques desert fans and there's no doubt that the future of the sport in Zimbabwe is bright as it attracts more and more people. Reporting for ATV, Robert Afmani, Arare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.